It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm tonight's host, Roland Boyden, and that makes this 5.45 Live tonight a jam-packed show. We'll get a live internet broadcast from Wall Street with live and locals. Steve West will debrief a raucous weekend in town, get some high-tech traffic and weather for you, and a whole lot more. And remember, if I talk fast enough, I can somehow maybe, just maybe, pull this off in 15 minutes. So stick around. Welcome back to 545 Live. That's footage from this weekend's Bratstock Festival, courtesy of dedicated 545 Live producer and videographer Joe Bushy. It was a busy weekend here in town with plenty of camera-worthy events. So later in the show, we'll debrief the weekend with a look at the new Fane Heritage and Dummerston Apple Pie Festivals. But moving on, Occupy Wall Street is the endless fountain of news these days, and 545 Live is soaking it all in as best we can. The movement, which originated in New York and has now spread across the nation, has included people of all demographics and political persuasions joining the call to reform the financial practices many feel were largely responsible for plunging the U.S. into the largest economic downturn in recent history. Steve West, he's a BCTV board member and host of WKVT's Live and Local, uh, is on Wall Street as we speak. And uh, in just a matter of moments, I'm going to get him on and uh, using our... Some would say uh, satellite van, but in this case, it's really just cell phone Skype and maybe a little duct tape and chewing gum is what's going to beam us in. Let's see if we can get him on the line. Steve, talk away. All right, excellent. I could go on and on about my own political feelings about all this, but what's really occurring here is a phenomenon no like nothing I've ever seen. This is not really about politics. This is not really about particular slants or particular angles. It's a lot of people who want good things, who are being very positive, aren't you being positive? Who are being very helpful, helping children. The message coming out of here is one of affirm, affirming, of positivity, of, of ways that we can be in this world rather than ways that we haven't been. And I, I have to say, I, 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 coming down here as I, I had hoped I, I would be, I've been really, really swept away by it. And really very moved by it, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be here and happy to be showing you some of it. I hope you can make out some of it, because it's a pretty wild scene. I mean, literally thousands of thousands of people here, and many of which just marched out of the square and are going up somewhere. God knows, I hope they don't get arrested, but uh, that kind of not supposed to do that, you know? But that's what's happening, and it's really a very wonderful thing. And as I said, to stress this, this is not about the lunatic fringe, although there's a few of those, and this is not about, in any form, about conflict one after another, each person helping other people. This is a different paradigm. And this is what people are trying to assert, that there are ways of doing the world in a wholly better way that affirms and accounts for each of us and, has, and treats each other with respect. This is a microcosm of a world that all, I presume the people here, not all speaking in one voice, but a microcosm of what the world could be is people getting together, working with what they have in an organized, care, caring, and respectful way. So I don't know, I could wax on and on about it, but God knows you got 15 minutes to do a show. But this is what's happening down here, and I am thrilled to be representing Vermont. I got my Brattleboro t-shirt on. I got my Vermont hat on. And people are thrilled to have Vermont in the house. And frankly, I've been hearing from a lot of people, there's been a lot of Vermont down here. We ran into a guy from Springfield earlier talking about, I think it was John Nirenberg. He met John Nirenberg down here. Caleb Clark and people from Marlboro College Grad School. This has been a lot of Vermont in the house. But there's people from everywhere, everywhere. I know, I, Roland, you should ask me something if you want to, or you just let me go. But I'll just wax philosophical about how awesome this is. Well, yeah, Steve, um, before, uh, before I let you go, we're chewing up your data plan here with our uh, hack together duct tape chewing gum and cell phones remote broadcast satellite truck here. But I just, <laughs> there was, uh, I, I wanted to sort of maybe yeah. get your remarks on the, some of the energy down here and, and just how these people have kind of set up shop. There was an AP article today about how you know, that's really become almost a, a small city of its own, this protest with people, you know, yeah. trying to actually sort of live out a, a daily life here and yet remain part of the protest. What is that like? Well, I don't want to correct you. I mean, because but people are being kind of clear on language and language choices. I don't think this is a protest. I mean, there certainly is a protest embedded in it, but this is a movement. And I think that's a fundamental difference. There are people who are very angry with Wall Street and very angry with the entire monetary system, no question. But what they have decided to do here is to supplant that 
with a different way of being. And honestly, you know, I'm in the middle of, of low Manhattan, and I've never seen an accumulation of nicer people in one space, even in Vermont. I mean, the, the mood, the tone, the, the vibe, if you will, here is nothing but positive. And I think that's really what people are asserting. They're trying to say we can make a better world that doesn't require us being now other. We can make a better world that we're all cared for. And so as much as protest matters in, in rejecting what has become the dominant paradigm, there's some people are coming forward, and I have to say, young people, young, smart, technologically savvy people are putting this together and driving it. Well, I'm too old to take any credit for this. There are way too many of us who screwed up this planet bad. And now there are young people here saying, you know what? We can do better than this. This is absurd. And so, I, and again, not to correct, but I think what we're looking at is an affirmation rather than a negation. And I think that's a critical thing to say. Absolutely. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. I'll let you get back to the protest. Uh, for all of you out there watching, um, it sounds like the kind of thing that you just have to see for yourself. All those people out there talking about uh, how you, you might go on down. Uh, Steve, what, would you, what do you say to them if they're, if they're thinking about coming on down and not sure? Please do, honest to God. At this stage of the game, with the way the species is going on this planet, we have got to act differently. And that requires doing different. If you can make it, please do. If you can't make it, go to Wall, OccupyWallStreet.org or OccupyWallST.org and donate. People need blankets, people need food, people need money, people need stuff down here. If you can't get your body down here, do something to help, because this isn't about hippies or lefties or anything. This is about everybody in the country saying, enough already, we can do better than this. So yeah, come on down. I have to say, I, I am so energized that I, I won't be able to shut up on the radio tomorrow. So, uh, so I would encourage anybody to come who needs a dose of, of how humans are doing well. Here's a good example. So anyway, I'll, I'll shut up, Roland, so you can do the rest of your show. But I appreciate you taking the time. I'm glad I could share it with you. Steve, thanks so, so much for, for beaming us down there. Uh, WKVT's uh, live and local Steve West, and he'll be back on the air tomorrow um, on his regularly scheduled time. Sounds like with plenty more about, uh, about your adventures down there, Steve. So thank you. There's my Yeah. All right, Steve, thanks so much, and I'm sure we'll cross paths again uh, live on the air at some point. Yeah. So. All right, thanks, Roland. See ya. Take care. All right. Steve West, a BCTV board member and host of WKVT's Live and Local, um, live from Wall Street, uh, thanks to uh, the magic of Skype and cell phones. Um, we've uh, taken up quite a lot of uh, time here, justly so. I'm th thrilled to be taking up time that way, but we got to return to some other normal things, so I'll see how quickly I can breeze through them. Among them, traffic and weather. We'll start with weather. Today's weather is courtesy of Brattleboro Union High School's Morning News Advisory Broadcast Class, BUHS-TV. You can catch the full broadcast of BUHS-TV, which includes school bulletins, sports trivia, and more live weekday mornings at 10.15 on Channel 10. Two clicks up the dial from here. Uh, on uh, mornings following a broadcast, I do the uh, rebroadcast of my show. That's at 10. Then at 10.15, right after that, is the live broadcast of BUHS-TV. But we got weather for them here, so uh, check it out. Today we'll have a high of 79 and a low of 50. It's going to be really sunny, so that's a good thing. And Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll have a high of 72 tomorrow and a low of another low of 50. Mostly sunny. And on Wednesday, high of 64, low of 48, rain. Why rain? We've had so much. We need a break. Don't you agree? Well, that's it for weather. Back to the desk. All right. Next, longtime Wyndham County rep Sarah Edwards was in Washington, D.C. last month uh, to receive the 2011 Pace Setter Award from the Women's Legislators Lobby of the Women's Action for New Directions. That was honoring Edwards for her work in the Vermont legislature. Edwards cited among her many accomplishments um, her part in the state's push for nuclear accountability during an interview yesterday with the Brattleboro Reformer. At the end of last session, Sarah was in our BCTV studios talking about some of the issues surrounding nuclear power in the state of Vermont. With Entergy gone, we're going to have the same standards of reliability because they're codified in law. Yeah. They have to have these standards yeah. of reliability. People sure. should really be able to calm down about this. Yeah. The, there, was, there was no contract, so how do we know what the price would be? Right. The contract is over 2012. There has been no new contract negotiated. Entergy really did not make a bona fide offer yeah. that was meaningful to the utilities, 
or to the people of Vermont. Yeah. So we just need to move on yeah. and get on with our new picture. Yeah. All right, and with that, we've got uh, hit our calendar. But before we look forward to future events, this past weekend had some calendar coverage worth reflecting on 545 Live. Senior news correspondent Teresa Maggi was at the Dummerston Apple Pie Festival um, when the last pie, number 1,400, and I want to say she's got all the stats here, 52. Man, close to 1,500 pies when that last pie was sold. Let's take a look. Sold! The pies are gone! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Pies are gone! Where, how far we just drove to get... I can't believe that. I'm not on... You, woo! And she got the last two. Yes, I know. We drove all the way out. And she said, if I don't get pie... All right, and we've got precious little time left, but I just had to read a few of these stats just dropped off on my desk. Uh, in those uh, 1,552 pies, they had 100 bushels of Cortland apples, 550 pounds of sugar, 850 pounds of flour, 400 pounds of shortening, 7 pounds of cinnamon, that's a lot of cinnamon, 3 pounds of nutmeg. Imagine if you put that in, in one of your pies. Um, and 85 people worked for 9 days, ages 9 to 92. Uh, to make those pies very cool. So hopefully you got out there and got one of those 1,500 pies. Also happening this weekend is uh, the New Fane Heritage Festival and, of course, tireless senior news correspondent Joe Bushy uh, is everywhere about with his camera, it seems, and he was there as well um, to uh, catch a performance. Let's take a look. Another day, another destiny. This never-ending road to have. These men who seem to know my crime will surely come a second time one day. I did not live until today. And with that, it's time for our calendar coverage. All right, I'll start off the calendar with a reminder that uh, a regular scheduled planning commission that would have been happening today is not because it's Columbus Day. It'll happen this Wednesday at its normally scheduled time, 6 p.m. in the Brattleboro Select Board meeting room uh, on the second floor of this very 230 Main Street I sit in at this moment. And that meeting will be broadcast live on BCTV Channel 10, so if you can't make it down here to Main Street, uh, to the Municipal Center just north of the library, then tune us in two clicks up the dial there. Um, on Channel 10 and catch the Brattleboro Planning Commission meeting. All right, let's move on with the calendar here. Uh, the uh, Center Congregational Church Perrier um, is where you can uh, catch a talk tonight entitled Germany's New Energy Path, a Roadmap for Vermont, um, which will focus on Germany's move to phase out nuclear power and transition towards 40% renewable energy by 2020 and 80% to 100% renewable energy by 2050. That starts at 7 p.m. Uh, Center Congregational Church. And Wednesday at 7 p.m., Brooks Memorial Library is showing the film To Kill a Mockingbird as part of their reading discussion series. More about that in the library's bevy of events at brooks.lib.vt.us. And that it's time for our BCTV Schedule Quick Glance. The Quick Glance is my daily opportunity to shamelessly plug what's coming up on BCTV on both our Comcast cable channels 8 and 10. Let's see, we'll uh, start off the Quick Glance here by uh, going to brattlebrotv.org. Let's see if we can take a look here just for a quick second. We are running out of time for sure, but I'm at brattlebrotv.org and I can do what all of you want to do when you want to find out what's coming up on BCTV. All right. That's um, a full id, uh, everybody. Thanks for checking in with 545 Live today. Thanks to Steve West for beaming us in to Wall Street Live from New York. All right, but before you switch back to Mad Money, remember, we'll be back Wednesday with all the usual fixings, BCTV schedule, quick glance, calendar coverage, headlines, cell phones, cinematography, and more for BCTV and 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden. Good night, everybody.